Whew. All right, camera tells me I've got 31 minutes to crap on, so here I am. I was told by a good friend that uh, I used to do some uh, posts that kind of discussed what was going on with the big board, with my gameplay, uh, what the goals of the blog were and what my goals were and things like that. And I hadn't done one in quite a while and they were curious about what my current themes were and things that I was playing and uh, trying to understand what the hell I'm doing, right? So I thought what I might do is, with the list, try and be succinct and run through kind of what, what my current game plan is in terms of game play and what I'm hoping to do uh, over, over the course of the next, you know, six, nine months, whatever the case might be. Typically, I get towards the end of the year and I look at what I've played it during the year, what I, my goals or my ideas of play that I had set myself early in the year uh, prior, and then see what I, where I got to and what was left to kind of leftovers that I wanted to try and cram in or, or work through, and then uh, look forward and try and come up with some fresh ideas or new ideas on what might be fun for me to do and share with you and what different modes of gameplay that we could try and uh, things like that. Uh, so in terms of modes of play, lately I have been doing uh, quite a few live gameplay sessions. So we did some OCS live gameplay. Uh, we're doing Objective Moscow right now. Uh, we'll probably put OSG uh, game up on the table here. We've got the Battle for Italy right here. I forget what the exact title What's it called? Uh, Bonaparte in Italy. Uh, so we'll play some of the campaign for that and that's been fun I enjoy it because I get a little repartee going with folks and can have a conversation with you uh, unfortunately you're typing and I'm talking but it's it's a great I think with people communicating by voice it would be a little hard to focus on the game and the rules have enough trouble getting the rules straight so uh, so there's that uh, I haven't done uh, stop motion in a long time just because, I mean, too busy to. It takes uh, an enormous amount of time. For every five or ten minutes of gameplay, it's an hour of editing and things like that. And I really enjoy it. But the game has to be the right game, too. It's got to be thematically and narratively strong so that I don't have to do a lot of special effects and things to let you know what's going on. And I'm trying not to... I'm trying to do stop motion now without too many dice and things on the board so it becomes more of a story than just I don't know just uh, you know just a, a series of flashing images <clears throat> and then you know I do you know standard blog post stuff I, I try and steer away from reviews I like to give you my impressions of the games they're not reviews they're not a go buy it unless I really really love it and think you should go buy it uh, of course, I'm still doing shrink groups as well. So, so there's that. But uh, thematically, uh, what the things that I've been working on consistently, probably for the last three years, I think, is uh, first and foremost uh, a chronological playthrough of all the games that I currently own or have acquired uh, of World War II, so that we can walk through World War II with the titles that we have, or if I come across stuff that I where I, I don't have a title for a given battle or operation, then we'll go back in time and play it and, uh, and, and kind of add it, add it into the mix. So I've tried to be fairly robust with that, uh, with that approach. There are three blog posts on my blog. Uh, actually, maybe there's four. Uh, 19, pre-war, basically, I think if you did a search on 1940, 1939, 1940, you would find a, a page that has all of the games that I've played and uh, little capsule comments on for what else went on in that in that year. Uh, I may try and work out a way to repost those so they're at the top of the, the top of the food chain again. Same for 41, 42, 43 is not updated. I haven't updated it uh, for quite a while, but we're now in the kind of August time frame for 1943. Just finished playing Sicily, so we've gone through the Sicily exercise. Uh, that will now lead us into looking at maybe Casino, a small SBI title uh, called Casino, so we can get a, um, a feel for the, the mess that that was. 
Uh, I don't have a whole lot of other campaign style, operational style, scaled games for the Italian theater. So we'll be transitioning back to the East Front over to uh, the Western Front to see what's going over there. Have a look in Africa, perhaps. I've got a couple of additional titles in the African era, that uh, African uh, region that we could have a look at. But I've played a lot of DAC. You know, we played that twice. We did Gazala, the Cauldron, and we did a couple other things. Uh, I did the Desert Fox just very briefly. Um, so pretty, pretty in-depth look at there. So now it's kind of looking forward and moving into 44 and uh, we'll have to do all the Normandy titles, right? And of course, some of the East Front stuff. And I've already done some East Front stuff for 44. We played uh, the Road to Victory Order, it's called. Um, so there's that. So that's one of the big themes. And that's, that'll take me another couple of years to kind of get through all the titles there, right? It's a, it's a big, big effort. Uh, we, we, I, I'm happy to keep going back and and slotting games in as they as they fit or catch my fancy. So it's a it's a great way to kind of keep track of my, my game titles. Uh, I have a general th another general theme which is uh, modern uh, warfare, which is broken into two or three chunks. World War Three hypothetical titles, which are probably all the games right there and there and there. They're all hypotheticals. Uh, we want to play as many of those as we can. I'm trying to knock them out. In fact, there's a big one right there, the next war. We want to get uh, that to the table next year. Uh, we want to get uh, the Falklands thing there, uh, where there is Discord. Lots and lots of titles there. I've been chipping away at those bit by bit. Got a, on a kind of a, a rant with uh, Third World War for a while there. Played a lot of that. Played some um, Next War series. Be playing. I've got BAOR set up right here. and We just had a session of that as well. So I'm trying to really get as much of those done as I can in a, in a comfortable manner. There's no great rush to do any of those. So there's that. Then there's the tactical modern combat. Uh, so I think um, I just had a message pop up about somebody and they were ranting about someone. Uh, sorry for the distraction. It seems like my phone always decides to get crazy when uh, I'm recording. And I can't turn that stuff off. Uh, tactical. I want to just get through all my lock and load Heroes of the Gap scenarios. All of, God damn it. Uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, want to play those, not necessarily in chronological order, but just play through them all. The Falklands War stuff, the hypothetical scenarios, uh, the Honor and Patrie, and all that sort of good good fun. And then uh, the last bucket of those uh, games would be actual modern combat uh, situations. So I've got a couple of one title on Fallujah that I want to uh, touch again. I've got uh, some stuff in regards to Angola. They've got two Angola titles there, a South African title that I want to I want to look at. So we'll get into that and play that, uh, those things. Thematically, that, that's a big topic. I love it. We're, we're just gonna take our time doing that. Uh, when you're looking for things on the blog, if you put WW3 uh, with the Roman numeral three, all in no spaces, that should bring you back a host of posts in regards to all my content. I try and uh, make things from, uh, in block tagged. I try and tag all my posts that I can. Uh, so that now kind of brings us to some other uh, sort of niche things that I'm focused on. Uh, Nappy, uh, Napoleonics. We want to look at operational scale Napoleonics. I'm very, very interested in Zucker's OSG uh, uh, the titles that come out in the days and uh, the days series and up, it's kind of the operational things. Uh, Habit of Victory, uh, uh, Napoleon Turns East, I think it is, uh, or Road to the Kremlin, whatever it's called. Uh, this one here, uh, Bonaparte in Italy. I like this scale. I think it, it, his system works really well at, at that scale. So I'm curious about it. I want to get into all those. I want to play some strategic stuff. I want to find the ultimate strategic Napoleonic game. Uh, see if there is such a thing. I've got uh, Napoleon in Europe over there, or Napoleon against Europe, I think it's called. Uh, I'm not interested in empires and arms and all that other old stuff. I think that those things, have, those games, have had their day. They're 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 done. I'm not not 
not enthused with him at all. Uh, tactically, still really want to find uh, the, the, the best tactical system for Napoleonics. I don't believe it's Labatai. I don't believe it's uh, uh, Fallen Eagle. I don't believe it's uh, uh, many systems I've tried. I do like the, the NBS system from the gamers, but that's a, uh, for all intents and purposes a dead system. Although it is rumored that La Belle Alliance is uh, still being goofed around with online. Uh, we'll see if we can find that uh, and see where it stands as a system. I uh, do like uh, the uh, La Retour of the Emperor, uh, the Return of the Emperor. I think that's a great system that has a handful of games, but uh, production there is pretty slow. Uh, and I haven't played enough of it yet, really, to uh, dig deep into that. So keen to see if that uh, will evolve this. So there's several things there, right? Some operational scale, a little bit of strategic scale stuff, and then uh, tactical games that I'd like to just explore battles, right? What, what, what happened? Why? What could have been done differently? Were the Austrians really that bad? That type of thing, right? Were the British really that good? Uh, topics I like to explore uh, in, in any era, I guess, but in particular with Ancients, because I have so many Ancients titles back here, like to dig into more topics around, uh, say, Julius Caesar versus Pompey, or uh, Philip II's uh, campaign to uh, consolidate uh, Greece. I've done those two campaigns and played all the battles out, uh, just from a, a way to you know consume some scenarios that, that make some sort of sense. And uh, I did a little bit of linking with those as well. A guy put some uh, rules together to help you link, link up um, Excuse me, those those different scenarios. So that was that was a, a, an excellent exercise. Uh, I'm also working on, you know, uh, Punic War games. I've got two running right now that are up on my board. One is uh, Hannibal, and the other is uh, the Punic Wars from SBI. They're older games. I mean, they're kind of fun and light. Uh, trying to see if there's a, some historical lessons there that we can have some fun with and, and have some experiences. I, I play, you know, a turn a month or something like that. They're on the magnet board. Not, not a whole lot going on there. I'm not super excited about either of those titles. They're, they're okay. Uh, but we, I want to go through them for the exercise and I'll play them in, until I'm not interested anymore. Uh, which kind of leads me to, you know, um, looking at other games that are in the ancient era. There's an ATO game, uh, is it Hegemon? I think that's what it's called. Consolidation of uh, Greece. I definitely want to get into that game. That'll come up sometime next year, hopefully, if I can get the, the bandwidth going. Uh, I'll let so, sort of the thematic uh, ideas. Uh, you know, what, what was the greatest empire? Uh, I wrote a post about that a while back. Uh, didn't get a lot of traction with the folks, but that could have been one of those times when I was just spamming my blog with five posts in a day and it got buried. But uh, I wrote, a, well, maybe I didn't publish it. I don't know. But there's a uh, there's a fairly long article about what you know, what what's the definition of an empire? How how what 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 matters about empire? and uh, which, which groups of people had empires and had empires that were lasting and impactful. And uh, I'm very, very keen to explore that. I'm starting with the Mongols, and I've played uh, one or two uh, great battles of history uh, battles uh, with the Mongols for the Devil's Horsemen. I've posted about the Devil's Horsemen already, uh, kind of ended up in a little, little flat with uh, Devil's Horsemen, but good system nevertheless certainly demonstrated the capabilities of the Mongols uh, in battle. Uh, in the 1400s this was, I think, uh, was the, the time frame that we were looking at. A kind of late Roman Empire, not late Roman Empire, what am I saying? Uh, maybe it wasn't 1400, maybe it was 1200, I don't know. It was, they were fighting, the, fighting the, uh, some of the, the Poles and the, uh, some of the Russian, Russian uh, tribal groups there. Uh, before the Muscovites, before they became Russia. So I'd uh, love to uh, dig into that a little more and explore other interesting groups of people and empires that, you know, had military functions and we can uh, look and see who was the best and why, right? Uh, if there's a reason, if there isn't even a reason there. Let's see what else I got on here. 
I mentioned the ancients. I mentioned uh, oh, ICW. So I, I'm I'm uh, on a kick here. I, I've I've gone and bought nearly all of the uh, great campaigns of the ACW. I really would like to put two or three of them together and play a longer campaign that runs for two or three months of game time, uh, or longer if that uh, works. Uh, but I've got to I've got to work out the the resourcing. Uh, reinforcements, replacements, scenario, and supply, and things like that. Uh, there's are some rules out there for that, but it's not really uh, driving uh, driving me to rip everything out and get started. So I don't want to recreate the entire American Civil War at the one kilometer per hex thing, but I do want to experience the the bigger picture. What were these guys dealing with? How were they managing their uh, the situation, and 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 what were what were the factors that went into their, their decision making uh, exercises? So I think that might be some fun there, um, if you think playing with a monster is fun. Which leads me to monsters, right? We have uh, there's a whole bunch of them up there. I want to get to them all. I'd like to play Case Blue again, uh, linked up with Good uh, Blitzkrieg. I would certainly like to uh, get some of the other OCS monsters out and play them. Uh, the East Front series over there, we want to try and put those two guys out on the table as well. Uh, that That's a long-term thing. That could be years before we get through all those. It will be years before we get through all those. So they're the big blocks of... Let me just check and make sure I've got everything. I think I did. So... Uh, they're the big blocks of things that I want to kind of, that I'll be focusing on. So when you tune in and I'm playing some game and you're like, what the hell, why, why is he doing this? And yesterday he was just playing BAOR. Well, I'm fortunate enough that I've managed to take over the downstairs and except for the little laundry, I've got games spread out all over the place. So uh, I like to rotate through these things and uh, keep them fresh in my mind, relatively fresh in my mind. Uh, play some stuff on Vassal as well. So there's a constant uh, I'm constantly trying to chip away at these themes and play the games out of those themes. Sometimes I don't <clears throat> take the time to give you the preamble of I'm out of water. Uh, the preamble of, you know, hey, this is a chronological game and it's uh, the 72nd game I'm playing in the series and I'm doing A, B, and C and this is why we're doing it. I'm hoping that uh, if what you watch is engaging enough, you'll either ask me some questions or you will uh, dig around on the blog and try and work out what the hell's going on or you'll find this video and you'll realize, man, this guy crap off for 20 minutes for no reason. Uh, so for the folks that wanted me to give you an update on what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, where I'm at with most stuff, I think that that uh, covers off on some of it. And if it doesn't, pop a question down below, encourage your friends to watch, encourage your friends to uh, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you uh, either face to face, playing some games in October at uh, the Advanced After Combat uh, sessions or game on in February, or uh, in person somewhere around America or around the world if I'm uh, on the road. I'd love to see you and play a game with you if we can all make it make it happen. So, talk to you soon. Always post comments. Tell me I suck. I know, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. Not too much anyway. And uh, 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 tell me what I can do better and more of or less of and we'll work it out from there. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Button.